viewers all over the world, greeting in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, my name is uh, John Kelumbwe. I'm from Zambia. Yes, I'm from Zambia. Uh, the issue that brought me here to Charis uh, Mission Church is uh, I had a lot of challenges in my life. Uh, a lot of challenges, uh, starting from what a place of work. I used to work. Then my contract was terminated. Then from there, I began to look for another job, but uh, things could not work out. Uh, and also in the area of my marriage, we used to have some um, misunderstanding with my wife, time and again. We couldn't agree on one thing or the other, uh, something like that. And also the challenges in my families, uh, things are not moving. Then uh, also the area of my spiritual life. Yeah, I was in one of the church where I used to fellowship. Now I begin to experience some challenges, issues here and there. Then uh, that's how I stopped going to, to church. I just decided to stay home without going to any church. So now from there, there was a time when one of my friends introduced me to Charis. Uh, so he showed me, that was in 2017, if I'm not mistaken, 2017, that's when one of my friends by the name of Alex, Alex Majuta, is the one who introduced me to Charis Mission uh, uh, Channel. So from there, I begin to watch it, and I begin to gain more interest so through what I was going, I was going through, then I decided to say no. One day I have to to visit uh, Charis so that I can meet the man of God. So from there I begin to prepare myself. I prepare myself until such a time when I was ready. Now I decided to come to Charis here in South Africa. Uh, so I started off, that was Tuesday, and I reached here, that was on Thursday. Finally, I'm here in Charis Mission Church. Um, so when I came here, the welcome here, it was very, very wonderful. I really enjoyed here when I just arrived here, and uh, until today, when uh, I happened to meet the man of God. You know, I've been moving up and down from one country to another, looking for solution over my life and also my family. I've never experienced what I've experienced here at Charis Mission Church here in South Africa. So it is my first time to meet the man of God one-on-one. -on -one. And the man of God he has spoken a lot of things in my life exactly the things that I was looking for. To say, God, you need to speak something. You need to review something over what I'm going through. So I need direction. And today, for the first time, I've met the man of God, Prophet Andres, and he has spoken a lot of things. So I don't know, I don't know if I'm dreaming, so I don't know what is happening to me. So I'm just full of joy because of what has happened today. I've been wasting a lot of money to move from one country to another. But today, finally, God has spoken. God has answered my prayer. God has reviewed the hidden agenda. What has been eating me, my family, and also my marriage. So today, God has reviewed the root cause of what was hitting my life, my family, and also uh, my marriage. Prophet Andres came and uh, he found us, all visitors were there. Then he immediately he began to encourage us about prayer. To say, you people, when you come, you need to be in the mood of prayer always. And uh, this land is just too big. You can find any place where you can be and start praying. So uh, as I was coming, I've seen uh, one person who was praying very much. 
And he came direct to me to say, you, I saw you were praying. But this prophet Andres, he doesn't stay here, here at the hotel. He stays very far. And since morning, he was not here. But he, when he just arrived, he found us seated. Direct he came and said, this man he was praying. And exactly, and the people were there, they confirmed that for sure I was praying. So that is the first prophet that he, uh, he spoke to me. Then the second one, he asked me to say, where is your child? Then I say, my child is at home. Then he say, uh, is your child with your wife? Then I say, yes, she's with my wife. He asked me to say, are you still together with your wife? Then I say, yes, we are together. Then he told me to say, but I've seen there are a lot of issues that is going on in your marriage. So uh, we need good intervention over your marriage because I've seen like you people you don't agree with each other. And I confirm the prophets to be very correct. The prophets was 100% correct. This is one of the issues that was affecting me. So, and for sure, he told me to say, and I've seen the child, she's a girl. And exactly my daughter, she's a girl. So, he told me to say, yes, I've seen this, but I will tell you more why you are having some misunderstanding in your marriage. So, we need God's intervention. God needs to intervene into your marriage. That is the other part which the man of God told me. Then from there, he called me again. He told me to say, uh, do you have a church? Then I said, no, I don't have a church. Then he told me to say, ah, but wh which church do you, do you belong to? Then I told him the name of the church where uh, I used to fellowship. Then he told me to say, but I've seen you like you were in, in the church. Then from there, you left the church and you decided to stay home. Then I say, yes, man of God, that is very much correct. I confirm the prophets to be very correct. Because I was one, in one of the church where I was fellowshipping. Then from there, because of some frustration and so on, I decided just to leave the church and go back home and stay. Then I say, no, from now, uh, from now, I'm not going to any church. I'll just be here at home. If it means to pray, I'll just be praying here. I'm not going to start any church. I'm not going to any church until when I'll go to Charis Mission Church and meet the man of God, the Apostle, uh, Apostle J.B. Makanisa. If he confirmed to me to say, you need to go back to that church where you belong, then I will definitely go back there. If he say, no, go and set up something, then definitely I will go and do that. So as at now, I'm not going to any church. I will just be staying at home. I confirm the prophets to be very, very correct. Very, very correct. Then he told me to say, you were planning to, to start up a ministry. Then I say, yes, I was planning to start up a, a ministry, but uh, I've not done anything. Then he said, no, what you wanted is you wanted to start a ministry, but uh, you never wanted to do it. You wanted God direction. Then I confirmed the prophets to be very much true. He said, yes, and that is one of the reasons why you have come here. You have come so that God can give you direction of what to do. I confirm that prophet to be very correct. And he said, uh, since you have come here and God is going to give you direction, you need to go and start your own ministry. There is nothing wrong with you starting with, with your own ministry. It is just fine to go and start your own ministry. When you just live here, you go and start your own ministry. I confirm that one to be true. And he told me to say, you need to pray about this issue. I've seen to your father's side, to your father's side, there is a, a story of who 
marrying many wives, many wives to your father's side. There was an issue of marrying a lot of wives. There was a, a spirit of lust to your father's side. And I confirm the prophets to be very much correct. So, uh, the grandfather to my father, my father's grandfather, he had a lot of wives, more than even 20, if I can say. So, children was all over, and of which the man of God, Prophet Andres, said that I can see a lot of children, a lot of them, and I confirm the prophets to be very true. And he said, it is a case, and this case, this is what is now attacking all of you in your family. This is the same case which is even attacking you in your marriage. This is the one which want even to, which is shaking your, your marriage. So, and God has chosen you to stand in your family and break this case. So you are the one God has chosen to break this case. Immediately this case is broken, then all the problem that you are facing in your family, it will come to an end. That's what the prophecy, uh, prophet Andres uh, prophesied to me. And I confirm the prophets to be very much true. And he also asked me about my brother. Where is your brother? Then I say, man of God, which one? Then he say, are you the firstborn? I say, no, I'm not the firstborn. Because in my family, we are about uh, six brothers. But I don't know which one you are asking me. Then he said, I'm talking about a firstborn. Where is he? Because I can't see him. Then I said, you are very much true, a correct man of God. So I can't even remember when I last see my firstborn brother. So he disappeared. And right now, no one knows where my firstborn brother is. So he disappeared. This brother, we don't know where he is as at now. I can't even remember when I last see my, my firstborn brother. So otherwise, the prophet tell me to say, we need to pray and break this case. And I'm going to help you to pray, to break this case. Immediately when we pray and break this case, and you see everything will start moving very well. And he also talks about the issue of the job. To say, I can see someone he just look at, uh, look at you, and he just decided to terminate your contract. I confirm the prophets to be very, very correct. I used to work in the mine, and uh, suddenly I was just told to say, your contract cannot be renewed. Then he told me to say, yes, I've seen there are a lot of people, when they just look at you, they just hate you for nothing. You have, not, you have not provoked them, you have not done anything to them, but they will just hate you for nothing. A lot of people. And I confirm the prophets to be very true. There are a lot of people, they just hate me, and I always ask myself, what is the problem? Why is it that people, they hate me without any reason? So, today, the man of God has reviewed everything everything actually everything that i came here for god has reviewed it through the man of god prophet andres so otherwise i'm very grateful for what god has done to me today for the prophets that i've received today otherwise i'm very grateful and i'm very happy i know this is my genesis this is my genesis and I will never forget about this day. This day will be remembered forever and ever that my family now finally is free. I believe the man of God. As the Bible says, believe in me and also in my word, and you shall be established. Believe also in my prophet, you shall prosper. And I know, I believe in, the, in my God and also in his word. And the reason why I came here is because I believe also in his prophet, Apostle J.B. Makanisa, and also Prophet Andres. I believe in them. That's why I'm here. And I know I'm going to prosper because I believe uh, on this 
men of God, viewers all over the world, I want to encourage you to say whatever challenges that you are going through, here is the place where there is answer to what you are looking for. I'm telling you the truth. This man of God, Apostle J.B. Makaninisa and the Prophet Andres, they are here for serious business. Not the business of making money, but the business in the work of God. These people, for sure, they are called and they are doing the work of God here. So whatever challenges that you are going through, this is the place. Come and experience the power of God. What I'm experiencing today, I'm telling you, is something that is shocking me. And I was not expecting you this. Because there are so many places that I've been going where they say, okay, there'll be one-on-one -on -one with a man of God. You go there, nothing. But here it is happening. Here it is happening. You see the prophets here with your naked eyes. The same prophet Andres, the apostle Makanisa, that you see on TV. Here, you see them live, and they'll talk to you direct. They'll talk to you direct. So I'm encouraging you to say, whatever problem that you are going through, come here. There is God. There is God in this place. There is God in this place. Don't just stay home. Whatever little money that you have, use it for your transport. Come here. The man of God is here and God is using mightily things that happen here. You are delaying yourself wherever you are. Don't delay yourself. Don't think, uh, if I use this cast more money, tell me what is going to happen. Because you can have that money, you can use it, and it can finish. And the problem will still come. The problem can still continue. But when you come to the man of God here, when your problem is exposed, that is the end of that problem. You go back, whatever lead to that you are going to have, you prosper. Please, I'm encouraging you, viewers all over the world, whatever challenge, it could be sickness, it could be any disease, we, with name, without name, this is the arena of liberty, where there is a freedom, there is a healing, there is a prophecy, anything that has been hitting you, here, the God of charities, will review it out. It will be exposed. That power which has been hitting you, it will be exposed here. There is nothing that is hidden, hidden here. Here there is light. Whatever problem you are going through, it is darkness. So now when you come here, that darkness will be exposed by the light. So I'm encouraging you, don't waste your time. Whatever challenges that you have, whatever problem that you have, come to the man of God. You see, this man of God, me, I'm from Zambia. I'm not even from here in South Africa. So this is my first time to meet this man of God. But he's able to locate my brother, my firstborn. He's able to know what happened long time to my father's side. And he has reviewed everything. So otherwise, I'm encouraging you viewers all over the world to say, don't waste your time. The time is now. Take this opportunity. Come and meet the man of God here. I'm telling you, you'll never be the same. You'll be blessed forever. And you never go down again. You keep on continuing going up. That is the God of charities that I believe and I trust. And I know that as I'll be going, I'll come back here with a testimony. Because I'm not doubting this God of charities. I'm not doubting the man of God, the Apostle J.B. Makansa. I'm not doubting him. I'm not doubting the Prophet Andres. I'm not doubting them. I know the impartation that I've received in this place. Even the ministry, it will grow. Because it is God who has spoken through them. It will expand. It will go forward. And I'm going to find a job. And he told me, uh, Prophet Andres, to say, as you be going, as you be waiting for for to start the ministry whatever first god is going to give you a job you start with a job then you enter into ministry and i know everything shall come to pass and i'm coming back not maybe uh, 
a lot of months from now, not years from now, but very soon I know I'm coming back with a testimony to God of Charis is very powerful. I'm inviting, I'm encouraging you to come and meet this man of God here. You'll be blessed and you'll never be the same. God bless you so much, viewers. Thank you so much.